everyone, this is Franca Brown. Um, today we'll be doing the cutting of the down part, which is the flared area. So we'll be doing um, 360 cutting. Mm, 360 cutting as a full flared. But since a satin cannot really give you that um, desire longness over longness you want if you fold it into four like that. So I'm going to show you how you can get it for you. Alright, I folded my fabric into two, as you can see now, into two like this. So I'm just going to spread it on the floor, so just do yours with the bag. Now we folded it into two, so it's into two now. Now like this is half leg, if you cut like this now, it's going to give you more 80. But I don't want to cut a separate flare because I just want only one joining at the back. So now I'm going to do something from this edge. I don't know if our camera can come here. Can you see it? From this edge now, I'll place my hand here also and try to make a triangle shape like this uh, to meet this other ending. So you see now it's like a triangle shape. Now it's not in so four. Oh yeah, let's scan the pieces. One, two, three, four. And please let me repeat what I did. How I got this shape in case of some of us. This is a half leg I folded the first time. I folded into two. And then I placed my hand on these edges here. And then I just make a bias fold like this as if you want to make a triangle mm, that's how to do it so i'm not going to arrange my fabric so here now we're having four folding which is is which is now a full flag so we'll be making our waist right here at the top side so just come up waist round here I don't know if you can see it. So before my waist run, I will, I will place any measurement I want here. I'm going to divide my waist into four. Because remember our fabric is into four now. So waist divide into four. Whatever you have, we'll place the measurement here. Oh yeah, divide your own work. My waist run that I need is eight. So from this part here, I'm going to try to get where I can get it from. Okay. Let's begin to mark. Let's use 10. So from here to here now, I will use 10. 10. Now I'll use my tape to round it first. So if it does not give me 8, ah, you can see this one is more than 8. Please, from this edge now, why I decided to add extra 2 inches to the 8? Because you know, here is a square shape. Here will be too small for my 8. Here will be too small for my so I added two inch to my um, measurement to give me the exact um, place I want. So from this edge here, you place your tape. Can you zoom it away? You place your tape here, and there you got ten. I mark ten. You just you know go around ten, 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 ten. So that's why I draft it. So I'm just gonna use my hand now to connect like a circle shape. Is the shock line showing? Yeah. Please remember this video is from Franca Brown. So I don't know if you can see it now. Yeah. So the next part now is to take our length. So we'll be back. I get the length of this flat. Now we are working with the with the length of this person, which is sixty five. And the half cut here, I'm using 16. So 65 minus 16 is going to give us 49. Can they see it? So it's going to give us 49. So the length of my flag now is going to be 49. So this is what I'm going to do. From this part now, this is my circle part. I'll place my tape to where I can get 49. So this is 49. I will mark. Now, I will also shift it from this up here. Can you see it? And also get where I can get 49 for my fabric. So, this 
so this is 49 I will mark at down 49 I will continue like this also till I get to the whole wideness. This is 49. Yeah, baby, it's 49. And to the last part, my measurement here is 49. So I already mark my 49, 49, 49, 49. So just connect each lines together with your hand. Can you just turn to the right hand? So you see, this is 49. Please do, I'm using freehand on this pattern. So I don't know if you can actually see what I'm doing. Is it clear? So you can see it. So I'll just tip it. So this is the waistline, just like what we did, 10, 10, 10, 10. And from here, I took the length. I decided to use a pen so that you can see the mark. And here we got our 49. You can also see the mark under. So I'm just going to cut it now. So just cut just according to the shape of the back. So this is it. After we finish cutting, so this is it. Remember, it's folded into four. So I'm just going to open it now and show you how I see. Okay. So you can see it now. We only have the joining at the back side. Is this showing? Yeah. So you can see how wide it is. Sorry, I'm just showing you. Uh -huh. So if you want your own to flow, 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 add extra, extra length. So 